Hey, hey everyone. Chronicles. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Um, so I wish my daughter was here. She's six and she thought the series was adorable. She's at school today. Uh, last well, lucky day. her. Uh, well, last day for the next month. But yes, <laughs> lucky her, lucky mom for a day. But um, <laughs> I guess my question is, I um, love the music in it too. So, and I love the catchy song in the beginning. It's adorable. How'd you come up with the music for this? And um, how did you decide, you know, who did you contact to do all that? Well, we work with an amazing composer. His name is P.T. Walkley and he's here in New York and Tracy and I have both worked with him on other projects. And uh, so we have a great friendship and relationship with him. And for the theme song, we really wanted to uh, have sort of a, a call, call, to call to action so that meow, 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 meow. meow, meow, meow. meow. <laughs> Um, you know it's Gabby's coming on. We kind of went to PT with that. We knew we wanted the meows. Um, and, and other songs it, within the show, it's really a collaborative process. Like we'll sit down with PT face to face or, or virtually now <laughs> um, and just brainstorm ideas and then he'll come back with something and we'll tweak it a little bit. Um, but he's, he's so talented and we just love all the music. We say he's like the creator of the earworms. Yeah, he knows a good too. Singing these songs in our sleep. And just how the show is, you know, the show is very signature. We like to say that the music is signature. We've created our own quirky cat bop is what we call it. Yeah, so it has kind style. of that, you know, organic handmade sounds, but you know, it's poppy, it gets you moving. And of course it has meows in it. So quirky. And I also want to thank you because my daughter's six, like I said, I have a, I have another daughter who's 13, almost 13, but my six-year-old is, is so into these YouTube unboxing and I can't stand it. So <laughs> I, like, I like to not stand it. Right. So I want to thank you because she's really into the show and it gives uh, her a different a aspect. Than yeah, that yeah, into movie. stories. I think we were as moms too, when we were yes, watching the yes. unboxing, we're like, really? Okay. I mean, <laughs> How can we take that right. and, you know, put a little nourishment and story and character into that? So yes, thank, thank you for, you for that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So my daughter wanted to ask if she was home. She really liked the hiccup episode and <laughs> she good. wants to know how you came up with the idea if you had personal hiccups, like and you tried everything <laughs> or uh, kind of <laughs> all the ideas because she loved that episode. I thought it was really cute too, that episode. So good. Uh, I think we've all had the hiccups. I think one thing with Gabby's that Jen and I are always trying to do is kind of make it signature and breakthrough and looking at situations in a new and quirky way and um, being excited about the idea of coming up with new things like planting a hiccup or a hiccup machine or bubble boots that turn you upside down, you know, new ways, creative ways of looking at a problem. Um, and the other thing we loved about that episode was, um, you know, trying things that didn't work. Like you try, like in that episode, Gabby tries planting the hiccup and she thinks it works and then, oh, oh it didn't work. But she had a great time doing it. And uh, it she, hits she, home that growth right, mindset. Keep trying. There's something like we've all tried. That's the thing about the hiccups. You try everything to get rid of them. <laughs> and then finally you stumble upon that one that works. <laughs> yep. Stick with it. So Yay, this just, wow. <laughs> Yay. So this is just a quick question. I love the colors in the, in the show. Um, did you like, they just seem so vivid. Um, did you select from different color palettes and to get the exact colors and what was the, um, behind that? Yeah, I think, um, Jen and I always like to create worlds that we call very yummy that you kind of want to just yeah. reach out and touch or lick or eat her. And that was very, <laughs> very true in coming up with the texturing and the colors of each room and kind of having color palettes. So you'll notice the craft room is that white backdrop, but then all the rainbow colors where the kitchen is kind of the soft, like vintage colors of the vintage kitchen mm -hmm. of that aquamarine blue. Um, and yellow, the bedroom being rainbow for, you know, sleeping and dreaming and fantasy. So there's a lot of backstory behind it, but that's one of our favorite parts yeah. of the job is decorating the dollhouse. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> we had a lot of fun with we that. We do. <laughs> and Gabby's favorite color is rainbow. So we love the idea of bringing a lot of color, but 
um, you know, we feel like the use of color, there's so much color in the show, but it's not too, just bleh, bleh. throw every color in, in the rainbow in there. We were very selective to make sure they were sort of analogous colors. And while it was <coughs> yummy and delicious to look at, it was also soothing and didn't feel like- An explosion of yeah. bleh. Because <laughs> a lot of times when you do kid shows, there are a lot of ones out there that just kind of, kids like color and it's just like, it, yeah. hurts your brain of you know, <laughs> too much too much so you know we, we love doing it in 3d too because we can uh defocus the background so the characters really pop and really give that sense of dimension and texture mm -hmm. with 3d perfect thank you so much of course thank, thank you, you.